What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today I want to talk about RSR, Reserve Rights and REN because these two coins are already in the accumulation stage and that is what I want to show you, the accumulation stage, the next price resistances and also the long-term price targets and that is exactly what I want to show you right now for both coins but before we are getting started make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out any future updates and before we are directly jumping into RSR I want to give a quick update on the general market in case you not already have seen this because I have already published that on YouTube yesterday and also on my Patreon account yesterday. By the way, if you not have checked out Patreon, then make sure to do so. That is the first link in the video description. There you get all the info live and in real time. So every time I do something, you will find it right there. Definitely make sure to check that out. And right here in the buyer index, so in case you are not already familiar with that, this is showing us how many buyers are in the market. That is a self-developed indicator, so you will find that nowhere else, just right here on this channel. And in this indicator, we can see, as I have said, how many buyers are in the market. And if there are too many buyers in the market, like for example, right here or right here, then this is a very bearish sign and likely we will see a bigger correction in the near future and on the other hand if there should be just very few buyers in the market like right here that is in march 2020 or right here that is in october november 2020 and also right now that is a very bullish sign and yesterday i have given the update that we not so from this perspective that we have just very few buyers in the market that is already a very bullish sign but yesterday we had the turnaround in this index and yeah you can see that right now today we have also made the first move back to the upside so the the first bigger move to the upside so that means buyers are rejoining the market and that is a bullish sign so that that is something like we have seen right here in march or like right here back in October and November 2020. So that the first step is that buyers rejoining the market. And that is why I'm generally bullish on the crypto market. So the whole crypto market, not just some specific projects. So in general, in the general crypto market. And I would say right now, let's start right here. Let's start with RSR. Currently, you can see right here at 4.1 cents. And let's take a quick look into the volume indicator because here we can see pretty good that uh, RSR is still in the accumulation zone right here. You can see that here that the volume profile here is very big and that it is very short before to leave this range where the big volume is. Um, so that is basically right now why I'm saying, okay, this is still an accumulation zone. Uh, then the next levels of resistance, so the next big levels of resistance, first, of course, the 21 uh, daily moving average right here, but that is moving to the downside. That is the first uh, level of resistance, but I would not say that is a major level of resistance right here. Then as always, so and also in all other cryptos, I would take a look into the high of the bounce after this crash right here. So that would be this level right here. So the five, pretty exactly five cents right here. So that would be the first level, but we can see here in this area, there is pretty little volume so five cents let me make a let me make a quick line right here so five cents would be the first level and then here you can see that in the volume profile that at eight cents here is much more resistance let's mark that right here so basically in this zone right here so that is from that is from uh, 7.8 to almost 9 cents. So that is uh, here also with the volume. That should be a bigger resistance level right here. So that is something that we have to watch out for. But as always, as soon as there are any changes, I will give you an update on this. And right now I would say let's also take a look into the long-term price target. As always, this price target 
is not uh, active yet because we have not seen the break above the last high right here. So this price target here is just active once we are back above the high right here. That is in this case also the all time high that was at almost 12 cents. And when we are there, then we can take a look into the next uh, into the next long term target and that should then be at let let me quickly take a look right here that should then be at 22.8 cents so that is of course a very big move to the upside uh, but that would then be the next long term price target right here for RSR as i said this is just active once we have uh, yeah, make a new high right here and once we have done this then also we can take a look into the time frame in which we could achieve this so you can also see that right here that we have done this before uh, right here we have something similar you can see that correction and then we have breaking through the through the upside right here making a new high and then we have the next price target that was in this case here at six cents so from uh, three ten, three cents to six cents and as it is in most cases you can see that right here the the timing when we hit the target is likely in the first half of the rectangle right here but as i said so far we did not know when this will be but as I said, as soon as there will be updates, you will get them right here. And right now I would say let's jump directly into REN and uh, take a look here into REN. And because in REN, I think uh, we can also see that quite good right here that uh, currently we are still also here in the accumulation zone. And we also see a very big level of resistance right here uh, we have already taken out the bounce level after the crash right here can i zoom in a little bit more that is looking pretty not not so super nice that is better so uh, we have taken out we have already taken out the level right here of the bounce that is a positive sign for me so then we have another high right here as you can see that is at the 69 cents we have also we are also above the 21 daily moving average which is also a bullish sign but you can see that right here that at these year yeah, pretty much at one dollar one dollar to one dollar ten that is a big big resistance level right here as you can see in the volume profile and that is also the level where ren got sideways for quite some time you can also see that right now we are in the correction since 103 days so far so that is quite some time so that is a time frame that we not see in many cryptos right now so ren is really a coin that is in a correction stage for a very long time and here as i said important level is I would say here one dollar to one dollar ten from the volume profile and uh, then of course also here these two levels so uh, one dollar thirty eight and one dollar twenty three but before we are getting there we first have to take a look what will happen in this zone right here so from one dollar to one dollar ten that is for me right now the most important target in ren then also as you can see here from basically from the lows right here so that is at 80 cents we are also starting here with the volume profile uh, with more resistance but not as big as here in the one dollar to one dollar ten range and also here from the chart we can also see that here is some resistance that here is are some resistance levels so that is also something that we can maybe take a look for here i would say from 80 to 90 cents so these are basically the next two levels in ren that i would watch out for so 80 what was that 80 to 90 cents and one dollar to one dollar ten that are two important targets for me right now and of course as soon as we are there as soon as there are changes you will get the updates right here and in the end i would say let's also take a look into the long-term picture so the long-term price 
target uh, here it is the same as in reserve rights and all the other ones that is just active once we have make a new high right here and then we can also see when we are in in which time frame we could aiming for this next target right here and let's take a quick look here in the long term price target that should be then at uh, $3.59 so that is then the next long term price target but as I said just active once we have breaking through the old all time high right here and of course once that should happen you will get the update right here on the channel and then we can also take a look in which time frame we could achieve this price target. So that is why I would make sure that you are a subscriber to this channel so you won't miss that. And also check out the Patreon link. That is the first link in the video description. Also make sure to check that out. And if this video was helpful, then please leave a like. If you have any questions, just write them down in the comments. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. And as always, have a nice day.